hi there, this is Tracy, and I'm coming to you from Digby, Nova Scotia. It's Wharf Rat Rally's 10th anniversary, or annual event, 2014, and I'm taking part with my mom and other volunteers that are so gracious to help out with the ALS table. My mom has had ALS for three years, and she is living with ALS, not dying with ALS. And I just wanted to say thank you to all the people that are doing the Ice Bucket Challenge. To everybody that, all the videos that I see on YouTube, and all the videos that I see, uh, and people in the community doing the Ice Bucket Challenge are coming up to me and saying that they've done it. It makes me smile. I know there's a lot of controversy going on sometimes about the Ice Bucket Challenge, but it spreads such awareness about this disease and it um, shows support for the families and the people in the ALS community. Um, it's so great. As you can see, all the motorcycles are here in the community, and this whole area is going to be filled up with motorcycles today. Um, this beautiful community puts this event on every August, and it brings such positive energy to the community. It's buzzing with positivity. Anyways, I'm coming up to my mom's table right now, and as you can see, we were here all day yesterday. This is the second day of the Wharf Rat Rally. Yesterday we made $574 in some sense, which is absolutely fantastic. Today we're hoping to beat that amount of donations from the generous people that have come to our table and that have come to, up to us to tell us stories of family members or friends or people that they may have known with ALS. Anyways, I wanted to uh, share with you our table and our beautiful community and introduce you to my wonderful mother who is absolutely strong and beautiful and uh, my hero too and also a wonderful mother, a wonderful grandmother, a wonderful community member and a friend I think to so many people. Um, she's lived an adventurous life and anyways I wanted to introduce you to my mom Judy McGarvey. So mom can you tell us what, um, what the ALS Society has done for you? ALS Society has given me a scooter so I can get around, has given me a hospital bed so I can sleep more comfortably, they've given me a CPAP machine that's $5,500, I had to buy the mask. Excuse me, just a sec. Where's the porta potty? Over there. Behind that black thing, there's four of them. Great. Check out our pillows. I heard the CPAP machines. We've had three people now tell us they've avoided having to buy them because they got our pillows, they stopped mouth breathing and stopped and stopped. I will. I was over. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, they have their support, they're an ear when you need to. They help me get connected to the ALS clinic. They help me get a family doctor. They help me with supplies. They bring them, deliver them to you. A chair that lifts up. That's about $2,000. Thank you, Mom. I just wanted to capture a little glimpse of what's going on here at uh, the Wharf Rat Rally 2014. And um, I wanted to say thank you to everybody out there in Nova Scotia, in Digby, in Canada, and all over the world that are starting to support the ALS. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and we love you so much.